Good morning, church, and uh, welcome to our last uh, Sunday morning devotion, our pre-recorded uh, section of the message. Uh, this morning, um, I want us to look at Galatians chapter 3, from verses 23 to Galatians 4, verse 7. And uh, in my NIV, it's got this titled as Children of God. And I'm excited by this passage, um, just being able to claim what this says. Uh, again, Paul writing to the church here in Galatia. Um, if you've got your Bibles, would you follow with me as we read Galatians chapter 3 from verse 23 through to chapter 4 verse 7. It says this, Before the coming of this faith, we were held in custody under the law locked up until the faith that was to come would be revealed. So the law was our guardian until Christ came, that we might be justified by faith. Now that this faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there any male or female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. What am I saying? Is that as long as an heir is under age, he is no different from a slave. Although he owns the whole estate, the heir is subject to guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. So also, when we were under age, we were in slavery, under the elemental spiritual forces of this world. But when the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption to sonship. Because you are his sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. The spirit who calls out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you are his child, God has made you also an heir. Hallelujah for that piece of God's word. Paul here is reminding the church that they're no longer bound by any title. They're no longer bound by the law. The expectations that they were trying to follow but they were set free in Christ Jesus. That they no longer had to worry about this image that they had to portray. Being a slave or free. Being someone of status or no status or even male or female. In Christ Jesus, we are one. The promise of Abraham's seed. The promise of salvation. In Christ Jesus and through Christ Jesus, we're brothers and sisters. And we stand on this promise together that when we ask Jesus Christ into our hearts, he becomes Lord. And when God the Father looks at us, he doesn't see us as these sinful, terrible people, but he sees his son Jesus. He was forgiven us. He was set us free. He was set us apart. So in Christ, we have this victory. This victory that we can hold on to. And you know what? This victory that we can take out into the world and be joyful about. The joy of the Lord truly is our strength. And so this morning, as I challenge you, like I've done before, go away and read this passage. Ask the Lord to speak into your heart, to give you wisdom over this word. But also to claim the promise that we are no longer slaves to this world. We are set free, that we have victory over the sin and the death that so easily entangles. So may we hold on to the promise of Jesus. May you put him on a banner. You go around and be, be able to proclaim who Jesus is and what he's done for you. Be encouraged this morning, church, as we read this passage. We belong to Christ. Because of this, we are heirs according to the promise. In Christ Jesus, we have been forgiven and we have been set free. As he said to his disciples, 
in the Great Commission. For what I have received from the Father, the power that he has been given, he has given it us, he had given to us through him to go, to go into this world, to go and to make disciples, to share the good news, because he's given us his power. He's given us the Holy Spirit to go with us, to be our counsellor, to be our guidance, to be encouraged as we read this word this morning. Let us pray. Father God, thank you. Thank you of this reminder, this promise that because of what you have done, Lord Jesus, we are children of God. Because of what you have done, Lord Jesus, you have given us that opportunity. You've opened that door. You've taken away the things that we would have to try and accomplish. But simply, we have to just believe. And because of what you have done, we are set free. Because of what you have done, the Father looks at us and sees you. And because of that, we are made heirs to the promise. We are children of the Most High. And so, Father, I pray that you would help to encourage us, to uplift us, to instill a passion in our souls for you. And to be able to encourage one another too on this journey, this journey of faith in this world. The world is full of darkness and the enemy does not want us to succeed. May we hold on to this promise that we are your children, the promise of your word, and be able to encourage one another too. So go with us into our weeks, Lord, into this, this month that is to come. As the children go back to school, as life seems to get back to some normality, Lord, would you bless us? Would we know of your presence and your peace? And that we can hold on to this promise that we are your children. And in that, claim the power that the Holy Spirit gives as we face each day, as we live for you. So bless us and may we go in peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.